Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question squares of a sorted array. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So this is a very simple question, right? All we have to do is just multiply the same number twice. So in this case, minus 4 multiply minus 4, that is 16. And minus 1 multiply minus 1, that is 1. So this is 0, this is 9, and this is 100, right? And after that, all we have to do is just sort this number so that we can get a return value, right? But we have follow-up question. So it said, can you find the ON solution? Yeah, yes, we can. So I'll show you how. So key point is that we have negative number, positive number, and zero, right? But uh, actually, we don't have to care about the negative, positive, zero. Why? So that's because, so let's focus on minus 4. Minus 4 multiply minus 4 is 16, right? So this is a positive answer. And uh, so let's focus on 3. 3 multiply 3 equals 9, right? So this is also a positive number. So and uh, what if 0 multiply 0 is 0, right? No wonder. So every answer is positive or 0, right? So that's why um, we don't have to care about uh, like a negative and a positive. So we just care about uh, um, like a number, like a 4, 3, 0, right? So in this case, minus 4 is smaller than 3. But in the end, minus 4 will produce uh, like a 16 as a square, and a 3 will produce 9, right? And a 16 is greater than 9. So that's why we don't have to care about the negative or positive. We only focus on just number 4, 3, 0, something like that. So to do that, I use um, absolute value, and I'll show you how. OK, so first of all, we prepare two pointers, left and right. And the left pointer starts from index 0, and the right pointer starts from the last index. And uh, basically, we iterate through all number from the end. So i is now last index. I'll explain why we iterate through from the end later. But anyway, so let's uh, start. So first of all, compare minus 4 and 10. So absolute value of minus 4 is 4, and the absolute value of 10 is 10, right? So that means um, 10 will produce like a bigger square, right? 100 versus 16. So that's why we put 100 um, at current index. So, um, sorry, I forgot to say. Uh, also, I initialize um, the result variable with length of input array. So that's why update last index with 100. So 100. So yeah, we can do that. That's because uh, constraint said um, this input array is sorted in non-decreasing order. So biggest absolute value comes from this smallest number or this biggest number. And then now compare uh, these two number, and we know that so absolute value 10 is greater than uh, absolute value of 4, right? Minus 4, right? So that's why. Um, we are sure this 10 will produce the biggest square among all numbers, right? So that's why we put 100 here. And then now we uh, calculate with this 10. So that's why we move right to next. And then index also move next. So now compare absolute value of minus 4 and absolute value of 3. And uh, minus 4 is bigger than 3, right? So in that case, um, multiply minus 4 twice, then get 16, right? So this 16 is going to current index number, so here. So that's why uh, 16, right? And then, uh, so we calculate with minus 4. So that's why we move left pointer to next. And the next, we compare minus 1 and 3. And the absolute value of 3 is uh, greater than minus 1, right? So that's why uh, I'll calculate 3 by 3 and 9, right? And so, sorry, I'll update uh, index i to here. So that's why this 9 is going to um, here, current index. And then, so we move right pointer to next, and then index also here. And next, compare minus 1 and 0. So absolute value of minus 1 is greater than 0, right? So that's why we calculate minus 1, multiply minus 1, and uh, we get 1. So update current index with 1. And then 
move next. So left pointer move next, and uh, i is now index zero. And then, um, so we calculate uh, zero versus zero, and uh, we get zero, right? So that's why update zero with uh, zero. <laughs> yeah, so nothing change. And then all we have to do is just return 0, 1, 9, 16, 100. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so let me explain why we put iterate through from the end is that I think you already understood, right? So simply, we want to put the biggest square at the last index, right? So that's why if we have last index number, we can simply put the result at last index. So what if we have uh, index 0 at first? So we can put the result at the last index, but uh, we have to manage index number individually, right? So we don't want to do that. So we simply put the result at current index number. So that's why we iterate through from the end. It's nothing, right? Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a result variable and initialize with all zero and multiply length of input array. And the left pointer start from index zero and the right pointer start from the last index. So length of nums minus one. And then, so let's iterate through uh, all numbers one by one from the end. So for i in range and the length of nums minus one and the minus one and the minus one. And then, if absolute value of left number and nums and left is greater than absolute value of nums and right. In the case, we put a square of left number uh, at current index number. So result i equal nums and left. And uh, in Python, we can do like this, an asterisk twice and two. So that means like, five much by five something like that and then so we use a left number so we move left pointer to next and else so in the case uh, we put the square of right number at current index number so re less and i equal nums and right and uh, we do the same thing asterisk twice and two and uh, we move right pointer to next in this case minus equal one right because the uh, right pointer starts from the end. So all we have to do is just return result variable. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, right? Because uh, we iterate through all number from the end, one by one. And the space complexity is order of n if we count this result variable. If we don't count this result variable, that should be order of one, right? We don't use uh, extra data structure. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. So please support me with your actions such as comment and hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.